Hey guys, so, well I'm at my grandparents' farm. It's just a little bit after 7 o'clock p.m. Just the day before Memorial Day. So I'm spending the Memorial Day weekend up here at my grandparents' farm. So I'll just give you, give you all a little tour, just walk around. So I really hope you all enjoyed that, uh, that video that I took yesterday on plowing the field with the John Deere 5065E tractor. And it was actually a good thing that my grandfather had me do it. Of course, one, I actually really enjoyed it. And then two, uh, just early this morning it, it rained. So I'm not going to bother walking out here today because it's, it's all muddy now. So that was actually a lot of fun. Especially being that that the tractor itself is actually air conditioning because it was just hot and humid out yesterday. Today it feels really good. Yeah. So yeah. So this is my second time being up here for this year. So I don't know if I will come back up here anymore this year because things at my job will start to pick up this summer, especially in July. And I think my grandfather's already got the barn locked. Uh, no. Nope, it's still unlocked. Yeah, he's just got all this stuff put in here away for now. I brought a couple of mice equipment, the PV580T and the CS400 chainsaw, but I think there are some small trees further out beside the field, some dead trees that need to be cut. I don't think I'll get around to them because right now since it rained early this morning it was just all wet. And got this lawn tractor fixed up, it's got brand new drive belts. And boy, let me tell you, it was definitely not easy to do. It was definitely, definitely quite a challenge to do, but it works, works now. So practically my grandmother does the mowing with this lawn tractor, whereas my grandfather does the mowing with the John Deere D140. So, yeah. So usually, typically, my grandfather usually puts the 5065E in here just right behind that old truck. And here's this tractor here. This is my grandfather's other utility tractor. It's a 1953 Ford Golden Jubilee. He's got a brush hog on the back of it. Definitely a good tractor. My grandfather's had this tractor now for 20 years. Yeah, I cannot believe that. He's had this tractor now for 20 years. Because he actually took this to a tractor show just not too far from here for the first time 20 years ago. And these are some garlic plants right here. My grandparents have quite a bit of garlic. Actually, some of the garlic plants that we have in my in my own backyard actually come. I believe they actually came from up here. Boy, it is just quiet out here. Very quiet. Actually, believe it or not, it's much quieter out here than it is over at my aunt's place. I think probably because of with my aunt's place she lives just right off over by the river. It's probably just from the the boats. It's 
probably what makes it a little bit noisy over out there than it is up here. And besides, I actually see I go out to my ant splice more often than I do out here, than I do up here because well with my ant splice it's not as far. Whereas out here it's about I would say at least maybe a 75 mile drive. So for now, my grandfather's got the, got the 5065E parked right here for now. He's going to leave it out here for the night. Uh, a little bit of water in, in the bucket because my grandfather actually washed it off. That's why I had it over here. Because both my grandfather and I, we got it dirty though just from plowing. And unfortunately, I don't think the key, the keys, yeah, the keys are not in it, but, however, it's, it's unlocked, even though it can lock, which I think, personally, I think he should have locked it, so. If YouTube has smell of vision this thing still smells excellent. So. Well, I can't really show you all the hours on it since I don't have the keys with me. But, however, I can tell you exactly how many hours it has on it. This tractor now currently has 27 hours on it. And my grandfather's had this tractor now for... He's had it for more than five and a half months to going on six months. And it's practically been a good tractor. My grandmother's never driven it though, so the majority of the of the use on it is from my grandfather, and I think also both of my uncles have also driven it. And here's a shed here, and of course it's got some junk in here. And here's the other shed. It's got more junk in it. And there's the Farmall H. Looks like my grandfather changed out the uh, muffler on it. That looks like the muffler that was that's off of the uh, Super M. I was wondering on why the Super M's muffler was missing. I think maybe because that the muffler on that one had a, a rain cap on it. Right now he's got this trailer hooked up to it. And here's the pasture. My grandfather used to actually use that particular tractor to uh, do the mowing. To mow the pasture. He used to use that tractor, but I think now since he bought the 5065E, he's pretty much used it now. Because it's just much better that way, since especially on some hot days, be in the air conditioning. Apparently, supposedly right here is a pile of dirt and looks like some grass and weeds have actually grown over it. Looks all nasty though. And there's my truck. So I'll be headed back home tomorrow on Memorial Day. I'll have just a look around the house. This is actually a, 
a manufactured home that my grandparents purchased back in 2000. The siding over here is real dirty. Probably just have to clean it with the pressure washer. I did get my grandfather's Ryobi pressure washer out and running, but unfortunately they don't have it up here. They have it down at their house in Bedford. Definitely nice. And there's the storm cellar just to go to go into in case of a bad storm. I know one time during the summertime many years ago, I think we all had to go in the cellar one time. It was both me, my brother, and my grandparents. Because while my while my brother and I were still in school, we would stay out here with my grandparents during the summertime. And we would always, my brother and I, we would help my grandfather actually cut this grass. Because it's just too much for him to do all by himself. That's why now, since my brother and I don't come out here that often anymore, it's pretty much now both my grandfather and grandmother. They now cut this grass. It was just cut a few days ago by my grandfather alone just because my grandmother couldn't cut it with him because her lawn tractor was just obviously not working until now. So, yeah. So, that'll be it. I think before I do leave tomorrow I'll do a little video on the John Deere 5065E and do a little quick drive video too and at least show y'all on how to actually drive one of these tractors. It's actually very easy. It's actually a lot easier than the, uh, the older tractors. I could probably at least just give y'all a little demonstration here or just show y'all. I think probably what makes it so easy is because of this lever right here. This is a power reverser. You can actually engage it to go either forward or backwards without even depressing the clutch. And also the clutch is not as sensitive too, so you don't have to let off on it really slow. This lever right here is forward to engage the four wheel drive. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed this video, and so, thanks for watching.